you know, run. Ah! <laughs> Something tells me we ain't in a. You, you ain't normal no more. Yo, welcome back. We are here for more Kumbera. Picking up of where we left off last time with episode 187 or 472 of, you know, the whole thing. Crazy that, huh? Ugh. Right, without any further delays, let us hop right into it. Uh, I'll kill you. I'll kill you, Ananta. What an idiot. Oh. Hey, I'm in my room. Uh, how did I get here? First you go where I told you not to go, and now you get beaten by, up by someone way stronger than you. Keep yourself under control. Do you have any idea what a loss it would be to our clan if you died? Everyone's been saying how weak our second in command is compared to other clans. We can't lose our king too. Ugh, shut up. Haven't you considered my position? If I don't fight Ananta, he got I didn't fight Ananta. He got in the way of my fight. Fight? What fight? What are you even fighting for? I keep telling you. That place was built using the knowledge accumulated by the top Aztica and their partners in the God Realms since the beginning of time. It's completely different from ordinary planets with our betrothed. The flow of energy itself works against us, so there's a lot that we can't do there. It's especially deadly for gods specializing in regeneration. Oh, that might not have been God Harbor saying that. Couldn't you figure out from the fact that even two top, two top regeneration users like you and Ravana have already been beaten back? Why do you keep going back there? What does it have to be? What does it have to do with me that that beast swarm re retreated? I'm the king. I have every right to attack a planet if I feel like it. Whatever they had whatever they had prepared, I should have been able to overthrow all that. I should have won! Well, that's what you think. I should have I shouldn't have to go sneaking around like a coward. Why? Why do we need us Tika have to be cautious with their environment? How can we possibly be beaten by the energy that even the Nastika can sense when we're stronger than them? Actually, it's the humans who sense the energy. The Aztica are simply there. This is their universe. They operate in complete in a completely different way from us. Also, who is this? Who, who, whomst are you? Whomst? Who art thou? Omae wa darida. Season 3, episode 187, the other side, 5. Oh, also, just letting you know now, this will probably be a touch shorter, maybe only 3, because... Bit worn out, and um, kind of short on time, because I got called to work on short notice, but I do need to record this. So yes, I will probably make this only 3. Even a legend like Ananta can only use his power because of Kubera and Indra. The Aztica may be stronger in terms of pure power, the Aztica are still the ones behind the power. They're the source of all the energy consumed in the universe. I'm sure they don't want to keep using up energy unnecessarily. So stop provoking Varuna and try to behave yourself. Asura is already on regular speaking terms with Chandra. So why don't you try and be more like him? No! If only I was stronger, I'd teach that punk a lesson. Seriously. Stop acting like a child. I refuse to talk that jerk. Rune has already gotten has already gotten in my way several times. What? When? You mean when Varuna went around creating seas? Wherever you went because you sucked up all the water everywhere? That was all because you got in his way, not the other way around. Face the facts. And he was trying to have someone else made king! What? Manak is supposed to be king. I'm gonna creature like you be king! Called me a creature, so Manaka should be king. I can't stand it. Manaka, that strange woman who's always showed up and steals my prey whenever she's bored. I hate how she always lectures me with that same tone in her, in her voice. But I only spared her because her, her. because killing her would only cause me even more irritation for me. How 
dare he compare an Ostiga like her to me? The king! How could I possibly think... Talk to someone who blabbers nonsense like that? Manaka, huh? That is pretty insulting. I may not be strong, but I'm still the second in command. Why would he push for a weak Nastika like her when I'm right here? Makara. Good have an Nastika. Well, I got the answer to my question, huh? Oh. If you're wondering why I'm exhausted, it's because I had my... Exhausted. One out. It's because I had my first gym session. I'm in quite a while, so my muscles are a little bit sore from a workout. Asura's body contains different types of power, but the only ones who can use those powers properly are humans. Asura's already kill each other so much as it is. We know exactly what would happen if we were able to use other people's power. That's why humans can only use as much power as their lifespan allows. The more effective it is, the more lifespan it, the more of their lifespan it uses up, and vice versa. There are ways to prevent their lifespan from decreasing, but they aren't guaranteed. Ultimately, they can only use their abilities for as much of their lifespan as they have left. Is this a different place from on the same planet? Or a totally different planet? Or a different dimension? I just followed them through some kind of gateway. But I've already spent so much time wandering between different eras before getting here. I wouldn't be surprised if it if this were hell. If I were never to find a way to get back. Are you trying to get yourself killed? It's your choice whether you die or not, want to die or not. But seeing how afraid of me you are, I get a feeling you want to live. <laughs> Sorry, I was just lost in my own thoughts about the past. What part of the past do you mean? Well, uh, I'm not sure if the word past describes it properly, but I was thinking of a time far, far away. Ah, uh, never mind. I don't even know where I am now. I don't mean to be rude when you've been so kind to me, but I don't intend to stay here learning or studying something. Do you know how I might be able to talk to God Vishnu? I may be lost, but I have a feeling he could help me. He might be able to tell me where to go. Sorry, just notification. What's the hurry? If you're gonna warp back to your time anyway, it doesn't matter if you spend some time here and get to your destination a bit later. So you know I warped through time to get here? Of course I know. I saw you waste that power that would normally eat away at your lifespan. That means you've escaped from the bounds of a normal lifespan. When you when did you realize that? I once walked for a long time in an empty white space. There was no night or day, so I had no sense of time. But all the times I'd spent with my family and friends felt as faint as a day in the distant past. If we're under that under the constraints of a normal lifespan, I would have likely died already. After that, there were several times when I had to use more power than usual. And each time, I got used to it. So now, it doesn't really bother me. Although I kind of figured that I transcended the limitations of a normal lifespan, it's not so much... Uh, it's not so much that you transcended it. It's just that the last day of your life isn't recorded in the Book of the Dead here. When you return to where you belong, the clock will tick away for you again, for you again, like normal. And you won't be able to use all that power like you can now. That's why this is a good chance to practice using that power of yours while you can. And more importantly, the one who knows better than anyone about that power is volunteering to teach you. Why? Why are you doing this for me? I'm just some random human who has something that's supposed to be yours. Yet, yeah, you're teaching me how to use it better instead of trying to get it back from me? I just don't understand. Are you refusing my help then? It's not that. I just feel sorry. I don't feel like I deserve to learn from you. It really hurts to think about. I feel like I'm doing something so wrong. <laughs> sorry, sneeze. 
I like your modesty. If you really feel sorry, then that's all the more reason to help, reason to learn to use my heart properly. You only disappoint me if you got lost in your thoughts and stumble like a minute ago. Let's just have a sparring match. Me and you, Yaksha. Hmm. No, I'd like to, but I don't think I can now. Someone else will fight you. Stop pretending to be asleep and come help us, Hanuman. He's gonna fight his own fucking ancestor. Why do you wake me up? I've only been sleeping for 200 years. He's going to fight his own ancestor. Oh. Hanuman? That's really... Hanuman. My mother's mother. That makes her my grandmother. Eh? Uh, so it doesn't matter if she's my grandmother or grandfather. I'll just call her by her name. I just solved the problem. We're on the side not to think too deeply about it. It's because she's an Astika. She can change. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Ron. Season 3, episode 188. The other side, 6. You just have to accept that with an Astika, you know? They can just be whatever. Whatever they prefer. And I imagine Hanuman prefers... A female form, but is going male because um, Yaksha wants her to fight. What is it now? Did that bother go chase after Firefox or something? Firefox? No, no, that web browser takes too long to load. You'd be waiting forever. <laughs> Sorry. That was such a bad joke. That's such an old internet joke. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't caused any trouble. I've been trying, been trying to behave myself because you told me to reflect on my actions. But why do you keep coming here and have a look at that guy? Him? I guess I'd better just say hi for now. Uh, uh, nice to meet you. My name is... What's this? He talks. Whoops. I forgot. Because we kept talking before. I'm supposed to, be, to pretend to be a sir when I'm around this teacup. It feels a bit like... It feels a bit like one of my children... Uh, there's no way a rock shots I could speak. What's going on here? Brava said she was going to change things up a bit to restore the balance. Is this what she meant? I told you you're supposed to refer to the primeval god as God, Brahma. Who cares? It's not like she's here. You need to relax, man. That's why Firefox got sick of you and ran away. Oh. Uh, um, anyway. Seems like a sore spot. Poor Yaksha. He looks really sad. Poor guy. Oh, I feel bad for him. Oh no. Don't be sad. You're a cool guy. No. Hanuman, fuck you. So, how can I help you? Uh, whatever it is, let's just get it over and done with. Quickly. Please. As I'm sure you sensed, he has very similar energy to you. Whether he's your descendant or not, he definitely appears to be connected to you in some way. You think so? But he also kind of reminds me of you for some reason. I wonder why. But you and I never had any descendants together. I mean, you and I never- Ah, that's because he has my heart. Your heart?! Is that why you look so lackluster today? I thought you were just feeling a bit down. But why? Why would you give a human your heart? Strange, isn't it? I didn't mean to give it to him. But the moment I met him, my heart was gone. <laughs> Is this what he meant when he said this could be dangerous? Still getting emails from university post-graduation. Wonderful. Although they are useful. My uni does offer some nice uh, post-graduate support, so I will read that later. He did say that Kali made that device. If something powerful can exist at the same time in both the past and the future. Kali could have probably used that device to create anything she wanted. This heart belongs to a powerful Yaksha. So there can't possibly be two of them. Does that mean that king won't have a heart until I leave this place? And yet, he recommended that I stay here. 
And then that explains everything. That guy has your heart, which weakened you. So now you want my help. And I'll just pull out his heart and give it back to you. What the? Do you get some of your powers too? You absolutely think it was a descendant of ours. <laughs> As if. Get out of here, you little bastard! What's going on? I don't know how to do this stuff. In fact, I'm not even controlling my own body. It's moving on its own. Huh. S sorry I didn't mean to. Then learn to control your body. Oh, wait, no, it's, uh, yeah, actually, I should have been able to tell by the pipe. But learn to control your body. What? And so you can control yourself as well as I can. Get used to my fighting style. Is he controlling me? How? It's hot? With a transcendental? Potentially both. Either way, this is clearly a chance. A chance to learn how to fight way more quickly. And having someone explain it to me. Or trying to imitate him on my own. You got me, old man. I see. So this is what you were after the whole time. Consider it your payment for me cleaning up after all your messes. Jeez. Thanks. I'm gonna tear out that guy's heart and throw it to the end of the universe. Then I'll get back at you for hitting me. I'm sick of s sitting around trying to be good. You're both dead. Say your prayers. Seems like Hanuman might be, um... A problematic Yaksha. Crap. Thought we were going to be fighting in human form. I can't fight him when he's in human, in Sura form. What? I can't believe it. How is this happening? I'm... I'm human, though. You know, run. Ah! Something tells me we ain't in a... You, you ain't normal no more. You ain't normal no more. We ain't in Kansas. Is it Kansas? Oh, fuck, it's been so long since I watched Wizard of Oz. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Ron? The hell? Should be con yeah, it better be continued. Fucking hell. What? Okay. Oh. Sure, I mean, surely Ron isn't going to be able to surify like this in the human world, like back in the present, because that like this would just be like yeah, that lifespan, um, all of it, all of it now. Kubera, season three, episode one eighty nine, the other side, seven. I can't do this. Please, put me back the way I was. I'm just a human. Then will you give me back my heart? Oh. You're lucky you managed to survive this long without being able to use that power properly. You don't have enough firepower when you're in human form. You don't have as much vigor as Masura, so you need to surify. But, but I don't need this much power. This is the kind of thing gods do. I'm human. I've never even considered the idea of getting into such a big fight. Nor is there any reason to. Change me back. I want to be human. So, you just want enough power to keep yourself alive, huh? And you've only used that power for yourself until now? Well. No. That's not true. And don't hesitate. Time led you to me. Well. History led you to him, actually, because this has all already happened. This had to have happened. Fate, time, history. The world, the universe itself led you together. Because there will come a moment when you'll need the power. I'm sure there will. And it probably won't result in Ron living much longer afterward, if you ask me. Unless he gets to cheat the system again. Isn't he dead? Uh, no, no. You can't die. Uh, hold him on. You should be more concerned about yourself. 
Don't test me like this. Uh, Hanuman is important to me. I mean, yeah, without Hanuman, you can't exist. There's no need to worry. Nasty kick can easily recover a hole in the head. Hanuman probably just felt a slight pain. Hanuman's weird. What the fuck is this arm? Like, ugh. Nasty can recover, naturally recover vigor. But when they partially surify, they recover it more slowly. And when they fully surify, they stop recovering vigor altogether. When that happens, they can't use transcendentals or quick regeneration, unless they've saved up some vigor, using vigor to increase your regeneration speed. Makes sense, given the name. That's the kind of state that Hanuman is in right now. He used up his vigor in a fight just before he, he was confined on this planet, and he hasn't been able to recover his vigor because he was trapped in the ground without being able to turn into a human. Get it? Hanuman can't use his transcendentals or quick, re quick regeneration. This is your chance to fight the throne in command of the, of the, of the Aksha. I need mean, to say Rakshasa. What about me? Do I have enough vigor to use skills like that? That one I used just now? Of course. That's why you sucked in the water. You draw in energy. You drew in the you draw in the energy you would you need from the world around you. And you consume part of the universe every time you need a huge blast of energy. That's how we work. The longer you live the more of an impact you have on the lifespan of the universe. Whoa! Okay. That's kind of a big deal. That every time Sura, you know, Nastika do anything serious like that, they consume part of the universe. It really is just a case that Sura were designed to make the universe finite. Their purpose is to bring the universe to an end. As long as Sura exist and well, Nastika exist, eventually the universe will end because they will consume part of it slowly over time. So realistically, Kali wouldn't have to do anything to bring about the destruction of the universe, would she? She just needs to get the Sura to act. Nastika to act. That's an interesting tidbit. Interesting. Then shouldn't Hanuman be able to draw energy from his surroundings too? My basic attribute is water, so I just have to be in the sea. But Hanuman is a wind attribute, so he can't draw in much energy on a planet like this with such a calm atmosphere. That's why he's given up on his basic attribute and is going after light, his clan's attribute. Let's follow him. F follow him? Where? Think about it. Why does light shine the brightest around here? And the star, acting as a light source for this, this planetary system, of course. You want me to get near a star? There's no way my body can withstand that. Besides, if Hanuman gets stronger, it'll only be worse for me. Why? That light attribute is common to all Nastika. So, of course, since I'm the king, I can also absorb more light than most other Yaksha, even in the same conditions. Bro, they're like plants. <laughs> Yaksha's a plant. He thrives in water and light. He's a fucking plant. <laughs> Remember, if you want to extend your lifespan even slightly in the future, you'll have to make use of your surroundings like this. All right. But are you sure it's okay for me to attack like this? Don't worry. The star has plenty of energy. Look, he's already coming back. And I mean, you know Hanuman can't die. Because you exist. No matter what you do, Hanuman will not die. And if they do, they'll just get Vishnu or just bring them back. Presumably. Uh, damn you, old man. Are you trying to kill me? If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it before I could find you to the planet. I wouldn't have to do this if you would just do your training properly. Properly? Screw you. Screw that. Is it so hard for you to fight someone without killing them? That's how I've always treated you. You and I may be this teacher. That guy's a human. He has no right to have your heart. That cocky bastard. I was never cocky. I'd rather you beat me up yourself. I've used only guy like him hit me. As an Aztecia, I won't allow this. Tsk tsk. Listen. This is no ordinary human. He's your- Wait. No. Judging from his personality, he'd probably hate the idea of having human descendants. 
If he knew the future, he'd probably just try to avoid it. It's probably not safe to reveal who I am. Please, I could suddenly disappear. Mm, no, you wouldn't. Because you can't. There you two go again. You're just messing with me! Don't know why I've changed Hanuman's male voice. It's the way it is. You've gotten a lot weaker since you've been trapped here, Hanuman. Is that all you've got? Uh, oh, no. The head takes a bit longer to control, so I can dodge the attack. Uh, are you okay? Right, I guess not. There's no point to any of this unless you learn yourself. I'll just wait until you come to. You have to think of it. This is probably the first time having your head blown off and regenerating. Even Raksha, even Rakshasa experienced some after effects when they regenerate for the first time. Uh, this could be worse than I thought. <laughs> yeah, normally having your head blown off isn't uh, isn't a good thing. You know that that uh, that uh, tends to to um, uh, be kind of a uh, bad actually. You know, uh, most of the time, most of the time having your head blown off is um uh, kind of bad. Do you know? Mm -hmm. What just happened now? Oh, my goodness. Don't do this. Think of the kids. That voice. It sounds familiar. Mother? Father? Wait. I've seen this before. That's me. All right. Well, you know what? That is a convenient place to leave it. Right before the Ryan flashback. I'll pick this up next time. Again, apologies for the short chapter, but... Circumstances require it. I oh, know. I just heard the police. Clearly, they found out about what I've been doing. <gasps> I've been doing nothing. It's a joke. But you know, the fact I have to preface that show is the sign of the times. Anyway, without the way, <laughs> like, comment, sub, share the video, and you know, usual you stuff, notification bell, comment. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Anyway, without the way, I'm now. So you've been doing a good job. Have a good video. Tell them now. And then why?